Hello bass fanatics and welcome back to Fish Den 365. Today I'm going to be taking my dad to Susquehanna Fishing Tackle and I'm going to take you along with me. This will be an opportunity for my viewers to see this tackle store. For those of you who live in the Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania like I do, this store is actually better in my opinion than Angler's Paradise used to be when Angler's Paradise was still in existence. They have an incredible selection of specific bass tackle and lures and they'll also get you whatever you need in case they don't have it. A very good tackle store. I always enjoy going there but if you live in the Lehigh Valley you're going to have to expect about up to an hour and a half travel to get there. Right now they're having their spring sale. It started Thursday March 15th and it goes right through Saturday the 18th and this is a good time to go. They have 10% off everything in their store, at least 10% off everything in their store, and in some cases they have up to 40% or more on some special deals. So we'll take you to the store right now. You can get a kind of a flavor and a feel for what it looks like there and what kind of selection that they have. But just know this, that everything that I have on the video, there's a whole lot more than what I have videoed. I just didn't have the opportunity to video everything there. So you'll see, I think you'll get an idea for just the kind of selection that they have. And so for you that are bass fanatics out there, if you haven't been there, you may want to check them out. Got dad here at Susquehanna Fishing Tackle Fogger. It's Thursday, about 10.30 in the morning, and you can see the sale is on. And they are busy. Let's see what we have here. All of Mega Bass here, folks. Did you? Okay, that's good. That's good. How you doing? I think it will hit us. Well, it's going to hit us, but it's going to They don't know if the are it's coming. How's your boat? Good. You got a brand new one too. Wow, now it's a little spate. Net baits. Whopper ploppers. <laughs> now I gotta walk all the way back around again. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need one of these. White belly? Perfect. I checked in the back, we're going back. Checking out here at SFT Tackle. That's new rod and reel. Okay. Okay, folks, so let's show you what we got during our trip. So, I got a number of these TRD finesse worms again from Z Man. These are for fishing on Ned rigs. The advantage of this bait is that it floats so that the tail will be up when you're fishing your Ned rig. I got Drew's Craw, a color called the Deal, and I got peanut butter and jelly. Pull one of these out for you to take a look at. This one's called Drew's Craw. Very nice uh, color here. I'm sure, this will be pretty effective. TRD. I get a kick out of that because, you know, it, it's, it's, it looks like a turd. <laughs> I'm sure the thought crossed somebody's mind in the marketing for this thing. I got something else from Z-Man that I thought looked quite interesting. It's called a Trick Shot. 
and the color that I chose was called is called the deal. Let me show one of these to you. So this is a bait that is certainly meant to be fished on a drop shot. It's got a ribbed belly. Uh, I like the shape of the bait. It has like a keel shape. It's got a really nice flat tail and you can see how soft the bait is. So I'm looking forward to, to nose hooking this and fishing it on a drop shot. It's a perfect size. It's, it's got a little bit of length to it, but it's not too big, not too small, good for clear water environments. I'm thinking this could be a good bait at a lot of the lakes that I fish, especially the clear water ones. Also got the Teckel Sprinkler Frog. If you're not familiar with this bait, I'm sure most of you are. We'll pull this out and show you. So this is the Teckler, the Teckel Sprinkler Frog. It's got this tail that's attached to a ball bearing swivel. And basically it is a weedless version of the Whopper Plopper. It has a similar action and sound but because it's got the frog type uh, bait here with the frog type hooking, it's weedless. And then you have that, uh, that whopper plopper type tail. And it does come with an extra tail. So that's kind of nice because the tail is soft and it can get torn off after who knows how many fish. All right, next up we have one of the mainstays that I like to fish with. This is a Berkeley Gulp Minnow. And this color is called Smelt. And this is a three inch long minnow. This is a great bait to fish on a jig or on a drop shot. I got a variety of swing impact fats. This is a swing impact 2.8 inch bluegill flash, 3.8 inch bluegill flash, 4.8 inch bluegill flash. I guess you're getting the idea that I like the bluegill flash color by now. And this one is 4.8 inch electric shad, another good color. I got three identical dirty jigs, swim jigs here. These are half ounce jigs in the ghost pearl shiner color. This is a great color for spring. I like using white in the springtime to imitate some of those dying shad. So this will be a good color and I'll be using it as soon as it gets warm enough to go fishing. You know, when we were coming home from Susquehanna Fishing Tackle, we, were, we had a snow shower and it actually looked like a blizzard. It's been cold and the, and the temperatures have barely been getting out of the 30s every day and they're getting very cold at night, um, below freezing at night every night. So uh, we've been in this pattern now for a couple weeks and it looks like it's going to continue. And so it's just delaying the, uh, the fish from moving up in, in the water column because it's just so darn cold. That doesn't mean you can't go out there and catch fish. It just makes it that much more difficult and you just have to fish very slowly to get them. Bought these two out of curiosity. These are some baits by Savage Gear. Savage Gear, I like some of their lures. Um, some of their lures are better than others, just like everybody else's lures out there. But Savage Gear is, it, it comes at a very economical price and some of their lures are quite good. These I've never used before. It's called a 3D bait fish. And, uh, but I really liked the colors. That's probably why I was attracted to these. I believe this is called Hitch. It's a great shad or alewife imitation. Uh, I have to see how the lure works. When I get it out there and do a little testing with it, I will report back. In fact, I got a number of lures that I'd like to run some tests with. I've already done some testing, but I'd like to share those tests with you. I just need the proper environment to show you, which includes very clear water and not so much wind. It's been very windy too the last several of the last couple of weeks, making fishing that much more difficult when the water's so cold. Got this one because a lot of the lakes that I fish in the Poconos have golden shiners. This looks like a golden shiner. That's the name of this color. And I really like the look of the bait. It looks just like a golden shiner. I'm gonna catch fish with this. So in one of my other unboxings, you saw that I bought a 6S Curve 55. So, and I really like that bait. I tried it out and it worked very well. It got good depth on it and I really like the action. So I thought I'd try another six cents. This is called a Crush 300 Double Deep. So this one has a large bill and you can see it'll get down pretty deep, probably down to 15, 16 feet, hopefully. And I like this color. It's got the dark bluish back and the lightish light sides. This is a good shad imitation color. I have high hopes for this, this bait and I really like the look of it. And then the final bait that I have here to show you is a Mega Bass Vision 110. This is a silent version of the Vision 110, probably one of the best known suspending jerk baits on the market. These things are deadly, they catch fish. And the waters that I fish are quite pressured, and I believe in pressured water, silent baits work better. At least that's been my experience. And so I bought this particular one. 
The color of this one is called HT Edo. It's a Tennessee Shad. So um, it's a, uh, I like this, this particular color because it's got this cool back on it. That's how the, the backs on the bait fish where I fish, they actually look a lot like that. And then it's got this little bit of gold and then it comes down to more of the silver sides and whitish belly. That gold will give a little bit of extra flash in water, especially if the water has a little stain to it. I think this color will work very well at Lake Wall and Pack. I look forward to fishing it there and in other waters close to my home. So that's all the lures that I bought at Susquehanna Fishing Tackle. I really had to exercise self-control because I really could have bought uh, five times this amount easily with everything they had. But uh, my finances uh, are such that uh, it would not be wise for me to do that right now. So I kept my control and got the things that I felt that I really could use on an immediate basis. Looking forward to fishing with all this stuff and sharing those adventures with you. As soon as that weather gets warmer, I'll be out there. Stay tuned to the channel. You know, we're all about the art and science of bass fishing. That's what it's really about on this channel and fishing in general. There is an art to fishing. There is a science to it. And if you combine those two things, you become a better angler. And that's what this channel is all about. So if you've been watching the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel and you like what we're showing here, subscribe to my channel. Give the thumbs up if you like it. And uh, share this with your friends because that's how I'll get more subscribers more quickly. I'm trying to get quickly to 250 subscribers. Right now I'm at about 131. And I'm trying to increase the rate of people subscribing. So I will continue to put out at least two videos a week, sometimes three. And I will do my best to continue to bring great content to you. I have a lot of good things coming up in the future. The very next video you're going to want to see, it's a modification on a blade bait that I have figured out and I want to share the whole, that whole story with you. It'll be quite interesting, I think. And I have a new camera coming tomorrow, so I'll be utilizing uh, this camera when I'm out in the field a little bit more. It'll give me an extra point of view for making the videos that much better. Can't wait to get all this stuff together and get out there and make more videos for you. We're Certified Bassify, and may God bless your fishing endeavors.